Coming to you deep underground from an undisclosed location. This is Trent Comics proudly presents the 1944 serial Captain America. Captain America is a 1944 Republic black and white serial film loosely based on the timely comics, today known as Marvel Comics, character Captain America. It was the last Republic serial made about a superhero. It also has the distinction of being the most expensive serial that Republic ever made. It also stands as the first theatrical release connected to a Marvel character. The next theatrical release featuring a Marvel hero would not occur for more than 40 years. It is also the last live action rendition of a Marvel character in, in any media until Spider-Man appeared in Spidey Super Stories segment of the children's TV series the Electric Company in 1974. The serial sees Captain America, who is really District Attorney Grant Gardner, trying to thwart the plans of the Scarab, who is really the museum curator, Dr. Cyrus Maldor, especially regarding his attempts to acquire super weapons for use of evil. In a rare plot element for a Republic, the secret identity of the villain is known to the audience from the beginning, if not the characters in the series. The studio's usual approach was the use of a mystery villain who is unmasked as one of the supporting characters only in the final chapter. A rash of suspicious suicides among scientists and businessmen, all found holding a small scarab, gets the attention of Mayor Randolph. He demands that the police commissioner and district attorney get to the bottom of the case, while openly wishing, wishing that Captain America, a masked man who had to help defeat crime in the past, were around to solve the mystery. Gail Richards, Grant Gardner's secretary, investigates and realizes that someone known of the Purple Death and if not a chemical responsible for the suicide. However, he then pulls out a gun and takes her into another room. He then orders an associate to tie her up. The DA realizes that she's there and forces the man to take him to her. He finds her tied up and gagged. He frees her but is threatened with all the purple death that will be dropped killing them all. But the DA shoots him and gets out of the room with Gail. All of the suicides were members of the expedition to some Mayan ruins. One of the few remaining survivors, Professor Lyman, turns to his friend, Dr. Maldor, for support. Dr. Maldor, however, realizes that he is the man responsible for the death. He wants revenge because he had planned and organized the expedition, but everyone else claims the fame and fortune. However, Lyman has developed a dynamic vibrator, a device intended for mining operations, but one that can be amplified to a devastating weapon. Using his purple death, Dr. Maldor forces Lyman to disclose the location of his plan. Captain America intervenes as the Scarab heavily attempts to steal the plan, and this leads to a sequence of plots by the Scarab to acquire a working version, as well as other devices, while trying to eliminate the interfering Captain America before he succeeds in discovering Dr. Maldor's true identity or defeats him. Captain America, 1944 serial, was divided.
We're coming to the house now. News are down. Captain America from the Scarab's agents who bombed a farmhouse where he was being held prisoner. Suffering from a brain injury, he was rushed to a hospital, the name of which the district attorney refuses to divulge, saying that he kept a secret to protect Hillman. If Hillman does regain consciousness, you will tell them that you are the Scarab. He must be killed before he can talk. How? Only the DA and Captain America know where he is. It's obvious that the district attorney and Captain America are the same man. When Graham phoned from the radio shop, he said that the district attorney was on his way to the Watson farm. Yet Captain America was the one who reached there. That doesn't locate Hillman for us. Gail Richards will. How is he? Bad shape. I wired for a famous brain surgeon. He was just starting off on a hunting trip when his office caught him. He's driving back and should be here by 5 o'clock. Here's their reply. Because he's coming here to the office. Yes. I couldn't take a chance to let anyone know which hospital Hillman is in. When the doctor arrives, I'll drive there. In the meantime, you go to the hospital, stay right beside Hillman. In the event that he regains consciousness, try and get a statement, even for a moment. Understand? Right. <laughs> Keep quiet and drive where I tell you. Where to? The Drummond Museum. It's good to see you, Miss Richards. Be seated. Dr. Mallon, why was I brought here? Perhaps this would explain. It explained a lot. You're the scarab. Yes. It's your misfortune that I had to let you know. But I need some information. Sit down. Tell me, where are they keeping Hilda? If I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Fortunately, only the district attorney knows. I had thought you would say that. But I have a means of making you tell me the truth. contains an extract grew from a jungle flower, which is a very efficient truth serum. Under its influence, you will tell me anything I want to know. Unfortunately for you, the effects never wear off, and you will spend the rest of your life in an insane asylum, a hopeless idiot. And now, Miss Richards. Go ahead, Miss Richards, and I warn you to tell the truth. I don't know which hospital Mr. Hillman is in, but the district attorney has wired for a brain surgeon. We're driving here in his car. He will arrive at the office at 5 o'clock. From there, he's to be taken to the hospital. What is the surgeon's name? Dr. Rodlin Barrick. Spell it. R-O-D-L-A-M. B A R A C S. Contact Agent 33. Tell him to use his name and to go to the district attorney's office. Mr. Gardner? 
I'm Dr. Rodlam Barracks. How do you do, Doctor? Would you have a chair? Thank you. You arrived earlier than I expected. I know. I received your wire about Hillman, and instead of driving all the way, I managed to charter a plane. That was very thoughtful of you. In a case like this, time is important. Has Hillman regained consciousness? Sorry, no. That's alarming. I'll have to make an examination at once. Uh, which hospital is he in? The Crestview. I would not have it. Uh, my associate's waiting for my call. Uh, may I use your phone? Certainly. I'll dial it for you. What is the number? Oh, uh, two six four three. My surgical kit. Meet me at the Crestview Hospital on Woodlawn Avenue. Understand? Got it. I'll take care of everything. The men are waiting downstairs. One will meet you in the lobby of the hospital in case of trouble. The other will wait in the getaway car. I'll be here when you get back. Very well. I'll start at once. I'm sorry I can't go with you, Doctor, but I have some work to do. Please phone in your report as soon as possible. Of course, Mr. Gardner. Thank you. That man's an imposter. Only Gail and I knew I'm expecting a brain surgeon. And the man I wired for is Dr. George Thomas. Then Gail is in trouble. Exactly. But there's a chance to find her. I gave him the name of the wrong hospital. I want you to phone the commissioner. Ask him to send a raiding party to the Crestview Hospital. And pick up Dr. Rodham Barracks and whoever's with him. Meanwhile, I'm going to trace that phone call he made. This is the district attorney. I want the address of Oak 2643. Who's there? The district attorney. Open up. Miss Richards. How would I know? You know, all right. And about that phony surgeon, Rodham Barracks, too. Phony? Well, the girl told us that. She gave you the wrong name. She made this one up to warn me. And at the same time, to tell me that Malder is a scarab. Malder? You're crazy. Hey, how could she do that? Rodham Barracks is Malder Scarab spelled backwards. See? S-C-A-R-A-B, M-A-L-D-O-R. Malder is a scout. When Malder finds out she double-crossed him, he'll kill her. She'll have a horrible death. Well, you know what he'll... Get out. He won't find it out in time. Yes? The whole thing was a trap. The cops were waiting at the hospital. Got the others. I just wanted to escape. Hold the car there for a fast getaway. We'll be out as soon as we dispose of the girl. So you lied to me. No one can do that and live. This looks a thousand years old. But it isn't. A week ago he was a living, breathing man. But he disobeyed my orders. He was placed in this case. In a short time he became the withered mummy that you see before you. And you'll be just like that in a few minutes. Gruber. Valuables together while you connect the mummifying gas. I'm afraid the district attorney will hardly recognize Miss Richards when he finds her 
a withered mummy. sooner than I expected, Mr. District Attorney. Where's Gail Richards? Well, you'll never find her unless... unless you're willing to exchange her life for my freedom. The scarab will have the pleasure of turning on the gas himself. Better make a deal, Captain America. In a few minutes, it'll be too late to save Miss Richards. Then she's in the building. Tell me where she is. Thanks to Captain America, we now know to be our fighting district attorney, the Scarab and his murderous gang pay the supreme penalty in the electric chair at the stroke of midnight tonight. To review the Scarab's crimes... No need to review them now. These convictions definitely prove that crime doesn't pay. I want to say that the people of this city owe a great deal to you, Mr. District Attorney. Uh, Captain America. Thank you. But we owe a great deal more to Gale. Her cleverness took me off to the Scarab's identity. But Captain America arrived in time to capture the Scarab. It's midnight. The toll of doom for the Scarab. 